Who are you? Hudson Mohawk, Hudmo, Glasgow, producer, DJ, blah, blah, blah. Hudson Mohawk, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you very much for having me. Hudson, we have met before. Can you please explain what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so this was in uh, South by Southwest, at like uh, 2010 or 2011 or some shit. Then I spotted you in the airport. I was like, oh shit, that's fucking hard work. I was like... And you'd seen my Rai Rai interview, oh, right? That's what you said, Rai Rai. Yeah, I'd seen like a, I'd seen a bunch of them, and I was like, shit, I can't let this opportunity pass up. We gotta get a picture here. And now it's preserved for all time. <laughs> but I've learned though, it was actually Joe who's in this room. Could you please uh, tell us who is Joe over there? If we could just yes, pan the camera. My good friends, Joseph over there. He was the gentleman that told you about the Nardwar to Human Serviette vids. In in the first place, that was like a long time ago. Like, a good while ago, like four or five years ago or some shit like that. Hudson Mohawk, you battled Africa Bombada and Zulu Nation? Uh, I sh I th yeah, I think we did actually in, Tor uh, in Toronto. Like, like last year or two years ago or some shit like that. For some fucking Red Bull thing, pardon my language. Um, but yeah, that was quite an experience. But I think we did all right. Like, we had... Uh, we had... Um, just Blaze and shit on our team, and like so Just Blaze was on your team. Yeah, just Blaze did the worm. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, it helped you defeat Africa Bombada. Well, we defeated them. We we didn't manage to defeat Mad Decent because they all had matching jackets. I think that's what won them the battle. But. Speaking of old school, Hudson Mohawk, yourself, your own family, your dad was rapping in 1987? I knew you were going to bring this up. Could you please yeah. explain? Yes, he was rapping in 1987. Um, yeah, he, well, he's from LA originally, and uh, he brought a rap record in 1987, like a seven-inch rap record. And, uh, the Glasgow Diamonds Football yeah, Club. You even know what the fuck it was, <laughs> shit. Um, and other yeah. people know too because it's on YouTube. It was featured some shitty TV program. Well, some TV program in the UK had it on there, like, uh, like they featured it or some shit like that. But actually, on the year, apparently, apparently, on the year there was like a competition on the Super Bowl for who could make the best like regional amateur team like video. And they won it that year or some some shit like that. So it got shown at the Super Bowl shit like that. That's incredible. Your dad's rapping in 87 and his vid is shown at the Super Bowl. That's really old school. <laughs> Did you tell Kanye West that your dad was rapping in 1987 and your dad rapped about diamonds? I did not. Now why? I probably should have. In fact, now you mention it, I probably should have done that. The song Mercy, you helped contribute something yeah, to Kanye West. Yeah, yeah. What exactly did you do on Mercy for Kanye West? Well, basically, like, the way they the way they work on all this shit is, like, everybody makes a bunch of versions. They take the best shit from all people's versions and, like, combine all the shit together to have the end product. So, like, um, there's, a couple, there's, like, a couple of parts of mine on it. It's, it's not, like, a major, major contribution but that was like my sort of foot in the door with that whole with that whole scene basically but yeah well i thought i would give you a gift that relates to the song mercy right here it is the stalag 17 rhythm oh shit it's the stalag 17 rhythm that is on the song mercy and that's a gift for you it's just the the, the intro vocal shit or what is this it's actually done by Super Beagle, but this is the original. This right here is the Stalag 17 Rhythm from Jamaica, done by Winston Riley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the, the sort of... That's what's with you on Mercy. That is dope as fuck. Thank you very much. Amazing. Hudson Mohawk, Blood on the Leaves, another yes. song that you did for Kanye West. Yes. Now, how did that exactly happen? Now, Kanye took the song Are You Ready by Tonight. How did that happen? He just bought the whole song? Oh, no, no. Basically, they... We made the song in, like, 2011. The original beat. And then never really thought much of it. And didn't... 
Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, he used it. Um, he used our original beat for the the catwalk for his fashion show. Um, and then at that point they were like, right, okay, we're going to use this for the record and blah blah. And uh, but that was before all the Nina Simone parts and all the uh, all the extra shit got added. And yeah, like it turned out. Uh, like I'm super happy that it turned out the way it did. It's just like. You know, I always wanted to be involved in that shit, and like, that was like a dream come true to fucking go out there. We like working in Rick Rubin's house, all this shit, and like, it's like that's what I always wanted to do. So it's like, yeah, super happy with it. Now, what I was curious about Hudson Mawaka is, did you talk to Kanye West about any of his earlier productions that he did? <laughs> Like here we have some of his earlier productions, Champions, Delated Peoples. We also have Grav there as well. That's such a good song, come on. So did Kanye talk about his earlier work, his earlier productions? So this is, we didn't have a conversation about it, but actually I was listening to this recently. This is actually, it's like, I really like this song. Like a Delated Peoples this way. We had the video where they were panning around on the rooftop, all that shit. That is like a super dope song. Grab from Chicago, Kanye did eight songs on this. Did he mention that to you? Did he mention anything to you about his early days? 1996. I mean, that's a long time ago. Fucking hell. Nah. We didn't have a conversation about that. Hudson Mock, tell me about Dream Skip 95 tape. <laughs> what was that? Wow. I didn't know about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That was, uh, that was one of the very first records that I ever bought. It was, um, but that was what I was into at the time. And that was like, well, so 95, and I was born in 86, so I would be nine years old. It was like, uh, it was like a happy hardcore or like a hardcore mixtape, but pressed onto vinyl. Hudson Mohawk, Thursdays, 6 to 8 p.m. That's really important, isn't it? <laughs> well... We used to do a radio show then. <laughs> How the fuck did you know about that? I Shit. Yeah. That's bizarre as fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, we used, to, we used to do a radio show then when I was like 13. We used to have a radio show on Sub City Radio in Glasgow's student radio station. Hudson Mohawk, I think it's amazing also. You played with MF Doom in Russia? Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I played with them in Thumi, Russia. That was one of the f like most bizarre, funny tours that I've ever done. And uh, he did his he did his typical um, turn up two hours late to the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, so he did his typical t you know turn up two hours late to the club, without realizing that in St. Petersburg, after a certain point of the evening, all the bridges open. So there's no way across town. So <laughs> basically got there. <laughs> Couldn't make it to the club because he left it so long <laughs> to try and get there. He couldn't actually get into the fucking venue. But um and then there's a whole bunch of other shit about, you know, he needs his he needs his private entrance so that people don't see him without the mask and all this shit and like the pr I was I was just kind of amateur promoter, but you know I don't blame him. It's a young guy who wanted to bring some shit over that he really liked, and uh, yeah. That's a the, his manager was not happy. I say, and his manager is about this size, so he was like snatching cameras off people and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. That's a mock. You were doing some DJ sets and playing the Ponderosa Twins. Who are the Ponderosa Twins? Do you know what? Someone wrote that. But it wasn't actually Ponderosa Twins I was playing. It was like I was playing outtakes from the Yeezus record, which I probably shouldn't be saying on camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, it wasn't actually Ponderosa Twins. I played I played a couple outtakes from the Yeezus record, but I played you know I played them for like one minute or some shit like that, and uh, some people misinterpreted that as uh, when actually that's like. That's a fucking exclusive right there, you know what I mean? And people are like, oh, he's just playing fucking Ponderous, you know what I mean? Like, you should know what the shit is, you know? But, I forgive him. How about 
about dancing? Has Lunas taught you any dance moves at all? <laughs> I'm slowly learning. Because he's an amazing dancer, isn't he? A fucking outrageously good dancer. But I think that, you know, it just comes natural to him. He's a, a Haitian background and he's just like, you know, he has a natural, the natural fucking moves, you know what I mean? Did you bond with him or should I say, did he bond with you over Goosey Mane's party animals? Is that what did it? Well, yeah, that's what, apparently so. Um, he was like, oh shit. So maybe we should maybe we should like try and do some shit together. But we'd actually known each other for a long time before that. Like we first met in two thousand and seven or two thousand eight or something like that. A turbo crunk party. You fucking bastard! How the fuck do you know that? <laughs> we are Hudson Mohawk. We have to know. Yes, a turbo crunk party. Yeah, um, Pop Montreal Festival, two thousand, either two thousand seven or two thousand and eight, something like that. And I thought I'd give you a gift right here for Lunas and tonight, yeah. the ultimate breaks and beats. Absolutely. Number 515, so tonight can kick out some more stuff for you and Lunas. Amazing. It's pretty amazing your dad was OG rap like Scotland in 87, and I was thinking OG Scotland rap. What can you tell the people about the two-tone committee? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is like a, yeah, these are just some of the first guys, like, who were doing it properly, basically. That's bizarre. The Two-Tone Committee, Scottish yeah, hip-hop. I, I know these guys, I haven't seen them for years. Well, thanks so much, Hudson Mohawk. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do, 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 do.